Ghost hunters are investigating some local historic sites to see if there are any permanent visitors in the place. Yeah, they're on the lookout for spooky activity at the Redford Theater on Losser near Grand River on Detroit's west side. 7 Action News reporter Saima Chowdhury shows us why they're inviting the public to join them this weekend. It is October 7th. Uh, we're at the Redford Theater. Is the Redford Theater full of life among the dead? And we're going to start a EVP session. We've got so much activity in here, it's, it's crazy. We'd like to know, is there any spirits here that would like to talk to us? Let's light it back up, would you? Ah. Thank you. Sarah Rupert is a clairvoyant medium with the Motor City Ghost Hunters. I actually can talk to them. The first time I ever walked into this building, there was a gentleman standing up by the stage and actually turned and looked. Previous investigations have led them to believe this theater that opened in 1928 is haunted. Look at this ghost near the organ or the swinging chandelier in the ladies room. And that's why we're here. We're to get the evidence to prove that there is life after death. This weekend, the ghost hunters are hosting their first ever lock in investigation overnight at the Redford Theater. Tickets sold out quickly and 100% of the proceeds are going to preserve the theater. And once the sun goes down Saturday, Sarah and the team will try to capture proof of at least eight ghosts, including a little girl and a woman who stays on the top floor in a dressing room. Was a dancer here and that the child actually belonged to her. They have several different gadgets to detect spirits. Infrared cameras that pick up heat and audio like this. Do you want to talk to Joe? Some of the people that worked here are still here. Including in the basement where Sarah says a maintenance worker is still on the clock. And I asked him, would you show yourself? A gentleman walked around the corner and he had like a blue, dark blue uniform on. And I asked him what his name was and he said his name was Dave. There's a locker that says Dave. So, and I actually, so I validated exactly what I seen and who I heard. Do you see a guy standing there? This past weekend, they investigated the infamous El Louise Asylum. Look at this ghost caught on camera. You can actually see his face, his eyes, his nose. The Motor City ghost hunters cannot wait to gather enough evidence at the theater to prove skeptics wrong. And actually get experience, all the spirits that are in here, and actually get evidence themselves. And the response for this weekend's event was so great, tickets sold out immediately, which is why they plan on doing another lock-in in the next few months. In the Redford Theater, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Hopefully you can visit them and leave. Yeah, I don't want to be anyone visiting home with no you. ghosts. Yeah. Well, that